Hey there guys, so base building for Star Citizen has started, uh, it's like gone into construction this year and I thought it'd be fun as a one-off just kind of talk about what I think would be a really good way for CIG to implement base building because I don't think it's ever going to come out everything, all the features all at once. There'll be like tier 0, tier 1, tier 2. So I thought I'd put together Ollie 43's recommendation for CIG for base building. Um, this is just a bit of fun. I'm not a game developer. Um, I'm also not a concept artist. These are all AI generated images. Um, and also I haven't really thought too much about it. Like, please don't come at me in the comments. Anyway, um, let me know your thoughts either way, but just, you know, be aware that this is just a bit of fun and I thought it'd be kind of interesting. So first off, um, you've just seen the trailer for the Star Citizen base building promo. And I've kind of broken the release into five phases. Well, technically it's four, but I've separated one to one and one B. Um, so let's get into it. So the first image is obviously uh, land claim. So you're going to land somewhere. You're going to put your stake in the ground. We actually saw a bit of this in the Citizen Con thing where like you're going to see kind of uh, a view of your land claim. I just thought this was a cool image, to be honest. I <laughs> like it was pretty cool. Also... And this second one's pretty decent as well with a cool little ship. It kind of looks like a Mustang Alpha or like a Gladiator, doesn't it? It's pretty neat. Anyway, I thought they were cool. Um, so, yeah, you claim, obviously, your thing. Um, in Phase 1, they're going to release the land claim. They're also going to release... Um, I think it's really important to have a space to um, bedlog. So you will be able to build a little pod or like a container that is a little space for you to log out at your base. I thought that'd be pretty cool. Um, the other thing I think they should include in phase one is a little cargo area. So there's a few, I've got like a few images here. So you could build a little storage space. I couldn't actually really get it to build, get the AI to build what I wanted. But imagine like just the corner of this construction area here, like a little area for like a storage grid for cargo. That'd be pretty cool. Um, I think it'd be good to be able to build a landing pad at, you're f like within the first phase of base building. Um, so you've got somewhere to land. Um, not necessarily, we'll get onto ASOP terminals later. So just somewhere to land, somewhere to be able to refuel or whatever, maybe. Um, and the other thing I think we should have is a workshop space. So, you know, be able to repair vehicles or park vehicles or um, work on stuff. I don't know. I thought that'd be kind of cool. Uh, another thing you should be able to build in phase one, <laughs> I feel like I'm really bad at this, so bear with me. The other thing in phase one is a basic watchtower. I think that would be kind of cool. A simple building, doesn't do anything, but you can climb it. Hopefully the ladders work nicely. Um, but yeah, a little watchtower for you to stand and look at your base. Also get a good perspective of like what you're building. And then some walls. I thought it would be kind of nice to be able to build some walls for your base in tier zero. And this is a, I don't know if I've shown you this already, but this is like <laughs> a crazy cargo grid image. I like <laughs> came up, well, I didn't come up with it, but the AI gave me, I just thought it was pretty wild. Um, but yeah, that's phase one. I think if they came out with this phase zero, uh, just somewhere to land, um, obviously be able to claim your thing, uh, put an area for your cargo, and then build some walls, a little hab, and a watchtower, tier zero. I think that would be kind of cool, and I think that would be really worthwhile. A really awesome update. Also, I should mention, when you do the land claim, there's the opportunity to get the protections that come along with wherever you're building it. So if you're in Stanton, for example, it's going to be nice and protected. If you're in Pyro, no protection. So, yeah, I think that would be kind of a good tier zero um, sort of thing. And then we've got like the mini update for <laughs> like, I love how I'm like doing a roadmap for CIG. CIG, please. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel like I'm making life difficult for them. So that's, uh, phase one and then phase or tier zero, I should say phase one is then a couple of things. So I thought for the next phase, you're going to want food and water. So I think the most important thing is be able to get some hot dogs um, there is a dog in this photo. I don't think we're going to get... Also, I have no idea what's going on in the background. But the main important thing here <laughs> is the hot dog stand. I think it would be amazing 
if they provided a little... Uh, they'll probably just do, like, a vending machine or something, right? Uh, or just a coffee machine that also does food. But I don't know. It'd be kind of cool if at some point I can build a little hot dog stand. Because I love hot dogs. Um, also, I think water, like a water station or a water tower. This is kind of an interesting concept here where it's like a water tower but has, like little bits of storage and stuff. I don't know. I quite like this image. It looks quite awesome. Um, and then I think the most important thing for this tier one is turrets, anti-air turrets and stuff. So you want to be able to start defending your base. Obviously, they're going to be cargo there and things like that. So I think that'd be quite important. Um, I haven't really got to, we'll get to shields in a minute, but I think anti-air defensive automatic, obviously, would be pretty important. So that's the next update. Just, you know, be able to survive a bit longer and defend yourself. I think that'd be pretty cool. Phase two is pretty interesting, actually. So it's pretty... I think this is probably one of the biggest leaps. So first things first, we're going to be able to um, do refinery. So we're going to be able to have um, resource collection. So that will play into the cargo storage. But I think having a building that will start actually gaining materials and things like that, this will be the, like production refinery start um, along with that you'll have science and research so it'd be cool to have like a little building probably not this big <laughs> this is like a town center but have like a little building that will allow you to um, do research um, come up with blueprints and crafting and that sort of a thing i think that would be kind of cool um have and these, oh, I'm not sure how I feel about this, but have an underground hangar. Because at the moment, we've only had a landing pad. I think if they had an underground hangar at some point, that would be really cool. How they'll do the tech for that, I have no idea. Because you'd have to, like, dig out collision. That seems complicated to me. If that can't work, CIG, how about an above hangar? So a hangar where you um, park your aircraft and the doors close. And they disappear or something. I don't know. I thought this image was pretty cool, to be honest. And it kind of looks like they've already got some vehicles here, which is cool. Um, and then for the last thing of phase two, I guess, I don't know, for this phase is a runway. Now, I know that we don't really need runways in this game, but it'd be kind of cool with the new flight models, things like the Gladius and stuff. Obviously, and they've got wheels. So there's going to be some vehicles that can use a runway. So this is completely like unnecessary, but I think it would be cool to have a runway as well as a landing pad, you know. Anyway, I thought that was pretty neat. Anyway, that moves us on to the next phase. <laughs> I have no idea how you guys are going to react to this. I feel like you're going to be like, what is this guy on? Anyway, uh, first things first, I think the most important, this is obviously a bit ridiculous of an image, but it illustrates what I'm talking about, and that is shields. So it'd be really cool, um, I think in phase three, to have the ability to have shields. And with the shields, there's going to be a couple of things. Number one, you're going to have upgraded walls. So maybe not as big as this, <laughs> maybe more in line with this. I think this is kind of a nice wall size. Um, but to power the shields, you're going to need a couple of things. You're going to need power. So this is a wind farm example. And then I think I've got an image here of uh, battery storage. So you've got your wind farm, you've got your solar panels, and you've got your uh, batteries. So this is kind of the power update or, I don't know, electric update. I don't know how to phrase it. And then on top of that, this is a... Obviously, guys, I know this is like nonsense, and I don't even know if this is the game CIG want to make. This is just what I would put in. Anyway, it's not my game, so whatever. I'd have an upgraded watchtower. Look how cool that looks. <laughs> that looks awesome. And then I'd also add on, just for kicks, our first basic farm. Now, this, incidentally, looks very similar to the original image that they had in the trailer for the farm, um, which is kind of cool. But I really like the idea of having the ability to have a small farm at this point. Um, you've got shields, you've got power, and then having like the ability to farm some resources uh, would be kind of cool. Have some sort of like trade cargo situation. And then we're on the final phase. 
I just keep laughing at the idea of you guys watching this going, honestly, Ollie's just gone mad. And then this is kind of like more um, crazy because at this point, you're going to have massive cargo storage. I thought this was really awesome. Uh, if you're, you know, doing all this power, like I think power should be a cargo entity, like big battery, charged up battery. I think that would be an actual awesome um, gameplay aspect if you could use your base to farm power and then ship the power to other bases or sell it. I think that would be kind of cool. So you're going to have big cargo, lots of refinery stuff. Uh, you're going to have an upgraded farm. This looks pretty cool, actually. And then um, the other thing is upgraded turrets. You're going to want better defenses. And then I think one of the most interesting things is like upgraded luxury. Uh, this is more of a castle <laughs> base, but have like, uh, let me show you this image here. So like the interiors are a lot more luxurious. So kind of more design aspects. You've got these big glass pane windows and the bedrooms look much nicer. Like if I go back to the original cargo, uh, cargo, original hab, this is very basic, very small, and then you go back and you've got this amazing, you know, looks like it should be on an 890 jump sort of a thing. So that is base building. I think the most important thing is to begin, like the first phase, I think is the most important. I think it's purely comes down to claiming your land, having somewhere to land properly, and then, you know, get a little hab going. I think that is an initial release and then kind of just building upon it would be the way to go. So, yeah, I've got no game development <laughs> game development experience, and I've just thrown a load of concept images at you, but I think that's... I mean, from what we saw on the original trailer, if I go back and show you the original trailer, I got the feeling that's kind of what they meant, maybe? Um, so if I was designing, and everyone who plays Star Citizen becomes a games developer, right? <laughs> if I was designing this game, if I was doing the design brief for base building, this is kind of the road I would go. I think some of these images are a bit ridiculous. Like, let's just go back to this one. Like, I'm not expecting walls that size. And quite honestly, I'm probably not expecting a watchtower that large because that is massive. But I think the point stands of like, yeah, we'll add some shields, have some kind of more refined, stronger looking walls, a little farm. You know, these images are very <laughs> dramatic, but yeah. That's, I hope that's cool. Um, share it with people if you think it's interesting. Um, CRG, if you're watching, I'd be interested to hear what you think. Um, you know, if you want to hire me for game development, that's cool. Um, you have my number and um, I have absolutely no qualification. So <laughs> as probably evident in this design document that I've provided for you. Anyway, guys, this is kind of fun uh, just to do what I do, which is fantasize about Star Citizen every day. And um, yeah, thanks to shout out to Editor Jack for putting this all together for us. And um, thank you, uh, AI, for supplying these images. It's been fun. See you next time. Actually, you know what? Before we go, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss base building. It's coming at some point. Not anytime soon, though. <laughs> See you later. Bye bye.